All right, y'all, red enchilada sauce. So I like half cooked this pizza crust, so I'm not gonna use a whole can. We don't want it to be soggy, but I think that might be good. Let me spread it out a little bit. All right, so I, I, yeah, I cooked this pizza crust for 10 minutes at 350, all right? So it's gonna cook the rest of the way, but I think that, that's pretty good right now. That's pretty good. All right, next, I have one pound of ground beef. I cooked this ground beef with a uh, taco seasoning, all right? So we're just gonna spread, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna dump it on, and then I'm gonna spread it out after. I drained out a lot of the fat, but not all of it, most of it. Okay, I'm making a lot of noise over here. All right, so we're just gonna spread this out. If y'all wanna use your hands, you can, but I know if I do that, I know those glove police are gonna be after me. Glove police. Who wears gloves at home when they cook, for real? I wanna know, y'all. I know I asked this before, but every, every video, there's at least one. But most of y'all, you know what, y'all? I love you. Most of y'all, most of y'all, don't give me a hard time. Y'all know. It's just, I'm just at home. I'm just doing my thing at my at my own home, in my own kitchen. Y'all know how it is. All right, next. Let's see what we're going to do next, actually. I have some sweet peppers here. You know the package you can buy? This is what they look like whole. So uh, I just cut these up, so we're just going to sprinkle these right on top. All right, a little bit just for some crunch and some flavor. So y'all, I really like making this because you can do it however you'd like. Super easy, super customizable. All right, now I have some refried beans. I, lo I love refried beans, so I like to use these on this dish, but um, you don't have to. I know, I know everybody doesn't love beans. All right, you know, we're just gonna do some blobs. I think it's fine. It's all gonna all go to the same place. It's all gonna mix together when it's cooking too. So uh, I'm probably gonna use most of this can, not all of it, but I'm just gonna spread it out like that. All right, that's good. It's gonna be delicious, y'all. It's gonna be delicious. Y'all are gonna, you know what I'm using the whole can. What am I talking about? We want something nice and hearty and filling. All right, y'all. Now I want y'all to tell me what you would do differently in this recipe too, all right? I, I love, y'all, I love when you give me your suggestions and you tell me your recipes because it helps me get better and I try new things and I love that, y'all. I really do. I hope y'all know that. All right, we almost done here. We're gonna do a little bit of pink salt, just a little bit. That was barely any, but that's okay. All right, and then we're going to do, I have this uh, avocado cilantro sauce. I, I really like this. Again, y'all can do whatever you want, but we're going to squeeze this on, okay? Oh, this is, this is going to be good. This is going to be so good. All right. Y'all, that's a perfect. That looks perfect. All right, y'all, last step, some cheese. I have a triple cheddar. Again, use whatever y'all like. They have that uh, Fiesta blend, which is really good, but it's basically like a taco pizza. All right, taco pizza. It's going to be so good. Put, we need more cheese. You never have enough cheese, y'all. Cheese makes everything better. Cheese, bacon, and butter. Mm-mm. And chocolate. I mean, I don't know. I guess there's a lot of stuff. All right. All right, y'all. So we're going to put this in the oven. We're going to do 350, about, uh, about 15 to 20 minutes. Everything's already cooked. Um, we just want the cheese to melt and get a little brown, and then I'll show y'all what I do next. All right, y'all. Look at this delicious taco pizza. I took this out of the oven a little while ago because uh, I did, and now it's cooled off, which is great. So we're going to finish it off. I have some shredded lettuce, so I'm just gonna pour this right on top, like so. I think that's good. Oh, y'all, this is gonna be so good. I'm so excited. Now we're also gonna put a little bit of sour cream right on top. I'm just gonna do a dollop right in the middle, and then if people want more, they can add more, all right? That looks good. And now we're gonna add my favorite, black olives, right on top. Again, y'all, it's a totally customizable dish. Y'all can do whatever you'd like, but this is, this is what I like. I love black olives, and I, I rarely put them on. I don't know why. All right, y'all, we're gonna cut into this. This is gonna be a thick, hearty pizza. Maybe I won't cut into the part with the, with the uh, sour cream. We'll cut over here. All right, and then I'm gonna try and get a slice out to show y'all the layers. We'll see how this works. All right, all right. So remember, we used a pre-made pizza crust. We cooked it first for about 10 minutes, and then we put all of our stuff on top. All right, there we go. Look at that. We got our meat, our beans. This is a pretty hearty pizza. I was just going to have a bite right here, but you know what? I'm gonna, you know what I'm going to do? I want a little bit of that sour cream on mine. It's so good. All right, y'all. I'm hungry. I'm real hungry. Mmm, y'all. Oh, my goodness, y'all. This is so good. I'm going to keep eating this, but y'all have to try this.